because, you know, they got embarrassed uh, last night by a Michigan team, as you noted, um, wasn't really even on the bubble before last night's game. But, and this will be a place to transition to the Wolverines, I think they probably are now, or they're at least getting close to it. You know, this is a team that started 7-7 seven and seven overall, 1-3 and three in the Big Ten. They took losses to Minnesota and UCF. And now they're 13-9 and nine overall, 7-5 and five in the Big Ten. They got wins over Purdue, Indiana, San Diego State. You know, they're two and five in quadrant one, three and three in quadrant two. So five and eight in the first two quadrants with a quad three loss to Minnesota. I don't think that gets you there yet, but you're back in the game. You know, you're back, you're back inching in the right direction. Like I said earlier, six and two in the past eight. And uh, among the reasons, it, it's interesting. I, mean, I guess this isn't, maybe this isn't interesting at all. Maybe this is just obvious. But when they were struggling early, it was like, you know, the very simple, What's wrong with Michigan? The, the simple answer was Hunter Dickinson is back for his sophomore year, and he hasn't really taken a jump. You know, he just kind of looks uh, like the same player. He's producing at, you know, more or less the same level. And the two five-star freshmen um, aren't playing like five-star freshmen. And so they when sure you did lose, last night. They sure did last night. That's my point. When you lose what Michigan lost, and then you are replacing it with five-star freshmen, the only way to maintain what you were or improve is for the five-star freshmen to play like five-star freshmen. And they didn't at the beginning of the season, but they did last night. And Hunter Dickinson played like a different player last night. He got 22 points, nine rebounds against that uh, Zach Eady, Trevion Williams front line. And he's been on a real tear lately. Past five games, Hunter Dickinson is averaging 24 points and eight rebounds. On the season, he's now averaging 18.3 points, 8.3 rebounds. So why is Michigan suddenly a different team? A lot of different reasons. But among them, Hunter Dickinson has taken it up a level, and the two five-star freshmen are starting to uh, play. Uh, they're, they're, they're not just good prospects anymore. They've become good, good college basketball players. Purdue's, Purdue's defense was so bad last night, Gary, that they made Hunter Dickinson look like Jaron Jackson Jr. <laughs> hitting, hitting threes out there. No, um, and he's shooting a, a not bad percentage from the. He obviously doesn't take a lot of them, but he's made that shot uh, this season. So again, uh, I don't want to pretend to be Jerry Palm. Um, I'll let him first up. four in. By the way, I just pulled it up. I, they were they were not on the bubble last night. This morning, Palm's got them first four in. He so he's got them last four the last, in or first last, last, last four, four in. in. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, so th there you go. Um, they, they, you know, according to Jerry Palm, they're now on the correct side of the bubble, um, which is, I don't want to say amazing, but not something I think we would have predicted, you know, when they were seven and seven overall, one and three in the big 10, it looked like, you know, this might just be a, a Michigan team that goes down as one of the biggest disappointments in the country, start the season preseason top 10. Um, but now um, they've got it headed in the right direction and uh, congrats, Michigan fans. You're now in the field of 68 as projected, by the great Jerry Palm.